Previously on Feck Football. Is there any hope of you coming over for this one against Belgium? I was looking at flights on um, on Ryanair and they're very expensive. Okay. Ah. What just happened, Tom? He's shit for Liverpool. Jimmy, I'm, I'm going to have to ask you to shut the hell up. What a strike from the farmer holler. Game is finished 1-1. One, one. Basically out of the Euros. No tea bags. <laughs> How, how are you? I'm good, thanks, doll. How are you? Not too, too bad. Is that, is that a Scottish accent I hear? Can I, can I hear a Scottish accent? Right. It's, uh, I, I, I know you. It looks like we're knocked out of Euro 2016 now after the first two results. It's very difficult, but, I mean, at least we made it to France, I suppose. Oh. <sighs> Alright! There's no need for that! Jeez! Hello there, how's it going? Alright Rodney, a bit sunburned and disappointed. I'd say it was all over for us. The Italians will probably kick that shit right out of us. He's a boy. Well sure, um, in, enjoy, uh, you're up to, is it Lille you're heading now? Big train journey. Last game and that's a shame, I, I've been making it by myself. So I, I was kind of looking online at flights from Ryanair, I might be able to get over home maybe about March of next year or so. What? You won't be home for Christmas? Ryan is charging through the roof. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, go on, look, I'll leave you going, I'll chat you later, alright? Alright, good luck. Alright, good luck, look, look. Oh, little guy, don't do, no, do, we won't go through this. I, I, look, I know you're down the dumps. Ireland's Euro 2016 campaign, not off to the best of starts. One point from a potential six. But tonight, tonight could be the difference maker, as here on GTV, broadcasting to the entirety of the United Arab Emirates, we bring you coverage of Ireland's final group game against Italy. It's your boy, Brian Tripp, linebacker, alongside the greatest footballing mind and an encyclopedic knowledge of the All Saints, Jamie Redknapp. Hello, Tripp. Hello, everyone at home. Oh, uh, Tripp. Also, it's, 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 it's eternal. It's my, it's my favourite group. I love eternal. I do. Right, yeah, your, your love for the All Saints is eternal. No, not all saints. No, no, it's it's eternal. I love him. Sure, <laughs> what a crazy guy. Anyway, we gotta go down to pit side where it's my man, the Johnny of the Murphys, the number one John. I know a couple of Johns in my lifetime, but this John takes the cake, the biscuit, and my heart. Johnny Murphy, it's over to you, my friend. Let's get this first period underway. T thanks, Brian. G again, not my name. My name's Tommaso Maracu, and I'll be commentating over Ireland's third and final group game against Italy. Of course, it's a peer press or pressure cooker situation of sorts, and this, that's why we have a woman with me this uh, this game now. A bit of a change up, you know, to probably put myself on me toes, as women tend to do with men. But this woman is her name is Emma 
Quinnell and she is a freelance video games journalist. Emma, I'm sure you're thrilled to be here today and oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll fill you in in the bits you don't, you don't know. Thanks for having me, Tom. It's fantastic to be here. But you don't have to walk around eggshells with me. You do realise the beautiful game is appreciated by my gender as well as yours, don't you? Positive play here from Ireland as Wes Hoolin is approaching the Italian box and he shoots and it's a save from the Italian goalkeeper Buffin. But a signal of intent by the Irish. Wes Hoolin now on the right wing whips it into the head of Shane Lang. Oh, and what a save there from Buffin again. The Southampton striker comes close after meeting the cross of the Norwich veteran. Oh, Emma, you're, you're, you're full of surprises. I'm sure you know what they play in the Premiership. <laughs> Zuzu now with the ball. He passes it into uh, pa- 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 Paolo. Back to Zuzu. Paolo shoots. Or Zuzu is one of them anyway. You did do your research before the tournament, didn't you, Tom? Uh, uh, Fiorentina to Scalacci. Uh, passes it to, to, to Pele. To, back to Fiorentina. Throws it into the box. Ooh. If only Zaza had connected with that wonderful chip from Florenzi, Italy would surely be in the lead. 24-year-old Juventus striker could have put Italy on the front foot there. Still one about the tie. Jonathan Walters now, heading forward up the, up the pitch. Passing to Shane who shuts off his man, takes a shot, and he scores! Oh, good. Shane Long making a darting run for the Italian oh, defence. Hang on now. He skipped past Parola, he skimmed Benucci, hold on. he shoots, and he scores! Yes. Irish eyes are smiling, Tom. Come on, oh. you're, you're getting ideas above your station, alright? That's my job. I meant to be commentating over that bit, and you had insight in afterwards, okay? Not much left on the clock now, but the Italians don't want to go in with a two-goal deficit undermined on the scoreline either, I suppose. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh. What a save from Darren Wendolph! Jesus Christ, how does he do it? There's three minutes on the clock. Well done, referee, for blowing up. Anyway, Brian, back to you in the studio. <sighs> Thanks, John. I'm out of breath after that first 45, Jamie. My golly gee whiz American things. Woo-hoo! But Jamie, I know you wanted to highlight one particular man, the man between the sticks for Ireland, Darren Randolph. You said if it was without him, Ireland would be trailing against the Italians. Is that not correct, James? Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought he did well, Chip. Very warm. Enough! Down a pitch side! Thanks, Brian. Tom, where do you see this going in the second 45 minutes? Alan could very easily be losing this match if it weren't for the heroics of Darren Randolph at the end of Emma, the first. You know full well that you're not meant to be doing this part, alright? I just went away and made me a, myself a cup of tea and got myself a couple of mariettas. It's all coming in, you take a f- Listen now. The Italians now not letting up as Paolo. He passes it into Pele, who shoots. And another fantastic save from Darren Randall. Well done, Darren. It's pronounced Pella, Tom. Pele receives the ball in the centre circle. Who and run ring around the Irish defence into Zuzu. Oh, what a regard. What a save from Darren Randolph. This man has been a hero for us. James McLean. He smells blood as he runs up the right wing. Passes it inside. What? Into Shane Lang. Into Shane Lang again. Who was it? No, oh, it doesn't matter who it was. Because it's a goal for Ireland. And it surely seals victory for them. Yeah. And into the second <laughs> round. Championships 2016. The lads are so excited they're doing a candle line up the pitch pies. It doesn't matter how many minutes you put on the clock, there's no way the Italians will come back from this. Listen, Emmett, it's been great having you, having you. Oh, they only came close anyway. But Emmett, it's been great having you know here, uh, uh, giving the old, the old the female insight. Into the, into the sport, I know you'd like the Olets running around in the shorts and all that. So I thought, sure, look, we'll, we'll bring you along and yeah, to, to be good, you know. Um, Ireland are true, fantastic. But yeah, thanks again, Inham. Tom, Emma. I'd love to say it's been a pleasure, but you're one of the most disgusting human beings I've ever met. Huh? It's been great commentating on such a historic <laughs> night for Ireland, but I can't say the same for the company I've had to keep for the last two hours. Oh, Find yourself another commentator. Oh, and have a shower. It's like sitting next to a sewage tank. I, I think I'm a lovely fellow. Back to you, uh, Brian. 
thickest. What a result for the Irish. Three nothing against the Italians. Who would have called that, Jamie? My God. And of course, this means that Ireland will be facing Portugal in the first knockout stage of Euro 2016 as they qualified in second place in their group. Unbelievable. But again, James, you said without Darren Randolph, Randolph the red-nosed keeper, you said that Ireland would be out of this competition. Tell me and all of the United Arab Emirates, please. Like I was saying at half time, he did very well in the first half and equally as well in the second half. Here are a collection of his saves throughout the game. Let's watch. You have a beautiful mouth and a way with words. But that's enough of that because our time is out for this evening. Join us next time here on GTV when we'll be covering Ireland's continuation of their journey as they face Portugal in the second round. Goodbye. See you next time. Ah. Oh. Unbelievable, what a night for Irish sport. I'm gonna open the lash. I'm gonna open the eye. This is. Oh, what a. What an incredible. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make a phone call. I'm gonna have to. I cannot not go on the lash after that. <sighs> We're on the one road, singing the one road. We're on the road to God knows where. We're on the one.